Uh, make sure you strap up in America. It's extremely dangerous on the street. They have no control. Illegal immigrants everywhere. Automatic guns flooded in the inner cities. Fentanyl poison in most drugs. Opiates melting the brains of humans and all that. Which is like, he's complaining about the negative side of America. And then he comes back to say, I want to get a citizenship in Ghana. America made to tear black men down if you don't follow orders. Yo, my brother McMill, I think it's a good intention. Echo, echo, echo city. Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. So I just Googled something online. I Googled, does USA or United States of America accept polygamy? And this is what I had. Polygamy is illegal and criminalized in every country in North and South America, including all 50 states of the U.S. However, in February 2020, the Utah House and Senate reduced the punishment for consexual polygamy, which had previously been classified as a felony, to roughly equivalent to a traffic ticket. Good. The same way I read last two, three days that Ghana parliament, the parliamentarians in Ghana, the MPs who represent the people within the constituencies in Ghana have passed a bill, uh, an anti-gay bill that uh, when they find you getting involved with anti-gayism, uh, there is going to be a punishment. Even though we are waiting for the government of Ghana or the president of Ghana to sign the bill, we're still waiting. I also read uh, something on the internet where the president was saying uh, the bill is in court, he has to wait for the court order, blah, 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 and all that. Aside that, I've heard that a group of African men born and bred in Africa are in the United States right now uh, there's going to be a demonstration uh, to the president of the United States, Joe Biden, uh, to accept polygamy because a section of us born and bred here are now living in the U.S. or the North and South Americas. And we feel it is our right. Since we came from here, we feel it is our right to be polygamous. So therefore, we are marching. You know, we are marching with red banners and everything, telling the president of the United States, hey, it is my right. Naturally, I'm from, I'm, I'm from Africa, and this is accepted. So then we want you to accept it. Can that be possible? If it is not, why do we then think that uh, a group of people from elsewhere will just come up and say, we want to be gays, so accept gayism in your country. If not, we're not coming. I've been reading a lot of comments on uh, Facebook, Instagram. You know, people heard that there's the anti-gay bill, and most of the comments were like, I'm not coming to Ghana again. Uh, someone said, oh, uh, my son and my family, we just got back from Ghana and we heard this news. My son is going to be, my son is not going to be happy hearing this. Do we give a fuck about that? Honestly, I don't have a problem with gays. No, never. I've never had a problem. You can, you can be my friend, be a gay. I don't have a problem. I have friends who are gays. I have friends who are gays. I don't care. We talk, we chat, we do, you know, we hang out and everything. But for you to force or compel a whole nation to accept something in our country, we say it is a no-no. It's, it's just mind-blowing to me. Like I said, I don't have a problem with the gay. If you're a gay, that is up to you. You can practice your gayness in your room somewhere. But don't tell the whole world that accept me as a gay. Then if that is the case, uh, we will be hanging around with our kids at the park and we'll see two men you know, doing their thing, two ladies doing their thing. I'm not saying um, 
being a gay is, is a problem to me. I, I don't, like I said, it's not a problem to me. We have to give respect to other people's culture and lifestyle. Forget about they, they have their rights. They have your rights. You can have your rights in your home country. If your home country says gayism is accepted, do that over there. But don't come to Africa and say that if you don't accept gay, I'll not come again. If you don't accept gay, we'll not give you support. If you don't accept gay, then we also ask him that all those countries out there who are saying polygamy is a sin, it's a, it's a, it's a criminalized activity, please uncriminalize it so that we can come, you know, myself and other African brothers who are okay to marry to one woman will come out and, you know, choose like three or four beautiful uh, diasporan women or whoever women that we want to be with. Anyway, so I was just going on my normal social media surfing and I saw this interesting uh, post from Mick Mill. So I was like, let me come and share that with you. So let me check this out. Mick Mill is saying that uh, no, there's, there's one post that he did. I want to read that one first. He said, America built these badass lower kids. Don't get mad. You dealing with me now. No, it's not about this one. He says, uh -huh. make sure you strap up in America. It's extremely dangerous on the street. They have no control. Illegal immigrants everywhere. Automatic guns flooded in the inner cities. Fentanyl poison in most drugs. Opiates melting the brains of humans and all that. Which is like, he's complaining about the negative side of America. And then he come back to say, I want to get a citizenship in Ghana. America made to tear black men down if you don't follow orders. Yo, my brother McMill, I think it's a good intention for you to have realized the negative impact America puts on the typical black man or maybe black woman in, in the U.S. I'm, like I made that comment in my other video, I see it a lot, the police brutality and you yourselves. You know, one thing that also counts is you yourselves, you the black people over there. I think there is no peace, there is no positivity. I see a lot of videos where you have gang here, gang here, shooting yourselves. For what? Just to maintain a certain position as, what do they call it? You're my crib, you're in the wrong hood. What do you mean by you're in the wrong hood? I mean, some of these silly comments, silly uh, things that I see on social media, I think that we here, the black people here, the Africans and the motherland, we need to teach you something. We need to teach you a lot. You will not come to Ghana and say, okay, this is my area, so I'm the boss, so I'm the head over there, so when somebody comes, they have to shoot the person. What sense does it make? And then you are out here on the internet saying that uh, you need a citizenship. Well, you really get the citizenship if you work hard at it. You either pay, you either naturalize, you either go through the right process, and then make a meal. I promise you, you will get a dual citizenship. You can easily get it by doing the right thing. All right? Go onto the internet, go to Ghana Immigration website, and then read. There's a process that you would have to go through. You can't just get uh, citizenship just because you're a rapper or you're a millionaire or you're making waves out there. People streaming your music online and everything. I remember there was one post you were asking, how do Africans stream your music? Meanwhile, you were here. You've been in Ghana like maybe twice or something. You've been to Nigeria and other places and you're asking how we stream you. I think we sit on the top of a, a plantain tree eh? and then we put a plantain in our ears and then the, 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 the sun will start playing music, your music for us to hear. Anyway, make me, I'm not here to criticize you, but I am happy that you're making the decision that you want to have uh, another uh, uh, citizenship, you know, focusing on Ghana. It is beautiful. You're doing music. You are all over the place. I think it will be a good move, 
you know, to come down here, do collaborations with our brothers and sisters who are also trying to do music and put it out there for the world to hear. You know, we are promoting Afro music, African music. So if you can, you know, indulge yourself, come closer to the people, I think it will help. But I read some funny, funny comments from his post and it depicts that this brother is gay. I don't know, but that is what it depicts from what people are saying. So somebody said, America made you rich. Uh, somebody was saying, let's do swap in white. For our green card, no beji, me Ghana card. Okay, so this is like a local language, a Ghanaian language. The brother is saying that, okay, let's swap. Bring your green card and then uh, bring your money, like your dollars, or the green card and then come for his Ghana card because when you have the Ghana card it signifies that you are a citizen of Ghana and someone also said brother it's not safe for you dog Ghana passes ban on sodomy homosexual marriage LGBT promotion so this caught my attention I'm like is McMill gay or what I don't know but those people who follow him why it's me Milge, he's welcome to the mother. Okay, somebody is welcoming him. Lies, he's not yet signed by the president. Okay, good thing, Mick is a great undercover agent. Oh, good thing, Mick Mill is a great undercover agent. I read a lot of such statements from people commenting on celebrities' uh, posts. Your undercover agent, undercover agent. What, what, what is undercover agent? What are they coming to Africa, Ghana to undercover? Anyway. I mean, there's a lot of negative comments. Some I just don't want to read all of them. But anyway, McMill, you're invited to apply for the citizenship of Ghana. Uh, nobody is stopping you from, you know, being part of the beautiful African country, Ghana. Uh, just that mind the things you would have to do when it comes, you know. Africans are good people. They will welcome you. They will be there for you, especially Ghana. We are hospitable. We will lay our beds for you to sleep on. But the moment you trigger something that you are not supposed to do, you realize that Ghana wouldn't be the best place for you. Maybe a lot of you don't know, but Ghanaians are the most hospitable people. But like I said, the moment... You do anything contrary to our culture, you will not really have it easy. You will never have it easy. You will rather say, hey, <laughs> let me go back to my USA and deal with the negativity over there. So this was just a video to tell you guys that uh, there's a lot going on in this world right now. A lot is going on. The Africans on the motherland are praying to get the opportunity to travel to the West, to the US, to the UK, Canada, uh, Germany, wherever, to realize their potential, their full potential, their full dreams. The same way, we are not privy to the negativity, the issues that Mick Mill said about a typical black man in the United States. It has a lot to do with just being uh, going to stay. Some of my friends ask me, oh, you went to Canada. Canada, everybody want to go to Canada. He went to Canada and came back. Um, there's a lot we can all do on the motherland. When it is time for us to relocate, maybe go there, you know, for some few years, work, make the greens and come back, that is fine. But to live our life over there, I don't think some of us want to do that. Thank you very much for checking out my video. Put up a comment and let's have a discussion about Mick Mill trying to get a dual citizenship to Ghana and then about America not being a better place for the typical black man or woman. And then we'll talk more about building the Africa we all want together. Peace out.